guys. So here is the deck po profile and term report for uh, the deck that I took to YCS Anaheim. I took Evil Swarm. Uh, I just decided I wanted to be that guy. I wanted to, you know, use kind of anti-meta and try to top, but uh, things did not go according to plan. So the first half of this video is going to be the deck profile, and then the second half is going to be the uh, tournament report. So if you came here only for the deck profile, then uh, let's go ahead and uh, get it started. So starting it off, we have, uh, of course, three caster. That's a given. Caster, leader of the deck. I ran triple Mandragora. Triple Thunderbird and Triple Kirkion, Triple Heliotrope. Of course, I won Rabbit. So pretty much standard Evil Swarm engine, 16 cards. Uh, but I ran one main deck tech, and the main deck tech that I decided to run is one Grand Mole. Grand Mole put in so much work. Like I love Grand Mole. Like you know. Some Evil Swarm decks, they decide they want to run Dark Arm because there's Darks, and you're like, oh, Dark Arm, but no, 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 no. If you want to run a strong, limited-to-one monster, I definitely recommend Grand Mole because Grand Mole would just put in that work. He'll just, like, summon, bounce. All right, so, of course, you guys know that one of the good matchups that uh, Evil Swarm has against is Shadals. You pretty much summon Ophion, and they can't even fuse into anything. So, what it's the way that they get rid of Ophion, of course, by using Squamata and Dragon. So, they're going to sweat set their Squamata and Dragons, and you attack into it, they flip up, and pop, you get popped. So, um, of course, besides the Raven Chalice, another card that can handle that situation, of course, Grand Mole. So, you summon Ophion, they set the Dragon, you summon Grand Mole, attack, before the damage step, of course. So, uh, Grand Mole will bounce back to the hand, the Dragon will get flipped, go back to his hand, poke him for 2550, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, it's like another Forbidden Chalice, it just gets rid of problem cards, Grand Mole is just so awesome. So, definitely got our main deck him. And, uh, yeah, that's all the monsters, so, uh, 17 monsters. For spells, I ran triple, uh, Infestation Pandemic. I decided to go triple just because of the background hate. Um, it's easy win against Burning Abyss, uh, you know, just playing Pandemic on them and, uh, keep on blocking their trap cards, but Burning Abyss are, you know, majority of the deck is mostly made of a strong trap card, so, uh, if you can go ahead and block the trap cards, you can, uh, easily outpace them. They run out of resources, so, um, yeah. I ran Triple Rota. Uh, I ran Triple Rota for um, only Triple Caster, but um, I wanted to be consistent as possible, you know. I feel, if I went against a deck that, uh, you know, got hurt by Ophion, you know, such as, uh, you know, Kleeput or Shadals, I tried to uh, make sure the deck was consistent as possible, try to get that Ophion out as quick as possible. So uh, I decided to go Triple Rota. If I went against a deck where, um, you know, summoning Ophion wasn't as important, then I could easily side out the Triple Rota. I side out in threes. So you'll see that when I go to the side deck, but I side in threes. So, you know, for example, if I was going against Teller Knights, I could take out the Triple Rota and I can put in, like, you know, Triple. Uh, you know, uh, light imprisoning or whatever. So, yeah. Then I also ran uh, Triple MST, you know. Uh, Vanities is a thing, uh, you know, destroying them Klee put, so, and, you know, just popping pesky backer that's in my way, so, uh, you know, I main decked it. Uh, you know, if it wasn't necessary, I could always side it out, but I decided to, you know, start the duel off uh, playing it safe, so if I went against Klee put game one, I would have the MSTs. I ran Triple Kaiser. Yeah, I'm that guy. So, pretty much, uh, you know, Evil Swarms, they lock down decks that, uh, you know, special summon five or higher, but the decks that make rank fours, um, not so much. So, I was thinking that if I main deck the Kaiser, I can go ahead and lock them down too. So, if I can summon an Ophion and play a Kaiser, you know, let's say I have the MST, they can't even go into a big guy to go ahead and snatch up my Ophion. So, uh, I decided to go with Triple Kaiser, and I could always side it out if necessary, but, you know, it helped in the Teller Knight matchup, so, yeah, yeah. Run Triple Forbidden Chalice, so, uh, Forbidden Chalice, another effect negator, that's my favorite effect negator, uh, right now. Uh, so, of course, like I said, with the whole Dragon and Squamata thing, you can attack, and then it'll flip up, and then you can go ahead and see the monster, you can just throw a Chalice at it, and then its effect will be negated, so... Um, very helpful and also just chalice just for the effect negate. Of course, I will be siding these out and I'm going against Klee Put. That's a given because that's terrible. <laughs> like, what the hell am I going to fit in bin and chalice, right? All right, and last card, uh, the one main deck dimensional fissure. Uh, I decided to go ahead and main deck the 
the graveyard hate cards in case I want to get into Burning Abyss or uh, Shadals. And, you know, I just go ahead and start it off and just hit them hard with it and uh, have it main decked, you know. So that's how I decided. Also, oh, it freed some room in my uh, side deck if I main deck these cards. So it wasn't a terrible choice. All right, and that was the spells. I believe it was um, 17 spells, I want to say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 spells, my bad. 16 spells, 17 monsters. All right, so for the traps, I, of course, run the... One Macrocosmos, I already just stated that I am running it. The one Soul Drain. I ran one Solemn Warning, just to hit whatever with it. The one Infestation Infection, I love this card, so helpful. Like, if you're not running this in Evil Storms, you should run it, you know. I thought I didn't want to run it, but then I realized it, this card's so good, so good. Except for one instance. And I round it all off, because I'm a douche like that. Of course, the triple vanities, because, uh, yeah, you don't get to play it, yeah. Alright, and, uh, yeah, that is the entire main deck. Alright, so, uh, we can, uh, go ahead and move on to the extra deck. So, extra deck-wise, I went with, uh, triple Ophion. Uh, the reason why I went with triple Ophion is because sometimes I don't have the Grand Mole or the, uh, Chalice. So, instead of, you know, sitting on one Ophion and praying that my opponent doesn't have the Dragon or the Squamata to pop it, um, you know, I just keep that material on it, and then I go into a second Ophion and make sure, you know, um, that I'm keeping up with their dragons and their schematics just in case. So, you know, if I gotta throw three Ophion at you, then hey, more power to you. Alright. I am running one Bahamut. Uh, I don't think I used him at all during the weekend. You know, he just really never came up as a card that I really wanted to use, but, uh, I guess you should run one. You know, just in case, so, yeah. I'm running one Exiton, uh, I really wish I had two, but I only have one, so I went with the one, and I regret it, I regret it, you know, it sucked, because, you know, I would Exiton the field, and there would still be a lot of resources, and they'd kill my Exiton, and I didn't have a second one, and you know, usually Evil Swarms run a second one, but I just didn't have one at the time, nor could I get my hands on one, so I only went with the one, so, yeah, I kind of regret going with that. Uh, ran one crazy box, because, uh, Scale Drain's a bitch. So, uh, I didn't go against Skill Drain at all, so, yeah. But it's nice to have this in your toolbox, just in case Skill Drain. Uh, one Ragnar Zero, just in case I want to begin, like, Fire Fist or Bujins or whatever that could be. That, you know, increases its attack, so I can just go ahead and pop and draw a card. So, uh, yeah. Never used this either. Uh, I'm running two Castells. Um, the idea with Castell was, and I was running the only at one, but I decided to bump it up to two. I took out uh, Storstorm Roach because this deck doesn't really need Storstorm Roach since, of course, um, I have Ophion, so anything that Roach can do, Ophion can do, because instead of just being me like, hey, when you summon, stop you, how about I just say, no, you don't summon at all. So uh, I decided to take out Roach and bump um, Castell to two. If you're not running Evil Swarms, then I definitely recommend Storstorm Roach, but since I'm running Evil Swarms, I decided uh, to take him out and put Castell to two. Now, the idea with Castell, besides just being, you know, awesome, awesomely Castell, was um, to uh, spin back those, um, those uh, Shackley put, spin them back to the deck. So they, you know, I don't send it to the graveyard, so they don't search, but, you know, there are monsters unequipped, so, you know, I have, like, Ophion in the field, and they'll summon, like, a monster and equip it with Sackley Put, and be like, oh, I'm safe, I can't be sure of battle, and I just, you know, summon, summon, XC in a Castell, Castell, Fax, spin back that Sackley Put, you know, attack over you, because now you can be destroyed in battle, and then attack you directly, and then, you know, so, yeah, that was the gist, uh, I don't believe I pulled off that play, but that was the gist, besides just, you know, Castell being awesome. Uh, one, 101. Um, it's kind of like Castell, except a little bit more defensive. Sometimes I don't want to go in Castell. Sometimes I just want to go into that nice, meaty 101, take your monster, you know, and protect by detaching. So, uh, yeah, I still want to keep that 101. Uh, one Dweller. I didn't use them once, but you should still keep them. And it's because of my matchups. They weren't the best. Uh, one Cowboy. Cowboy wins game, so you should run him. One Heartland. Um... I put this guy in at the last second. I just kind of throw him in there. I was thinking about maybe like running like Karagorgon, but I was just like, eh. I run Kaiser, and uh, I side in Zombie World, so I'm like, you know what? You know, if I have Kaiser, then they can't attack him. If I have Zombie World, I make him, then, you know, the Cleat Point guy can't attack, so. Um, and it actually uh, won me a duel. It actually won me a duel. One duel, so. Not bad. And, uh, one Rhapsody. Uh, 
I tried to I tried to Rhapsody Teller Knight players take their Deneb, but they always just had something to slap me. I mean, his stats are just not that good to be going into that. I'm, you know, I'm starting to fall out of love with Rhapsody, so I'm not sure if I would take him out or not. And then the one one percent mains just in case anybody was running Stygian Dirge. I didn't run to anybody who was citing it or hit me with it, so uh wasn't the best card, but I liked the fact that it was in my toolbox to help me out in that situation. Alright, so that was the extra deck. Alright, so for the side deck, I ran Triple Twister. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, all my cards are in threes. I side in three, so I take out three, put in three, take out three, put in three. So, um, Triple Twister. Uh, this was for the Rogue matchup and also for Klee Put. You know, go ahead and pay that 500 to go ahead and destroy a face up spell trap. So I can go ahead and pay 500 and hit that um, scout, or I can pay 500 to hit that skill drain. Uh, you know. Um, it was also for the rug matchup, in case I went against, like, Firefish or Bujins or something, just go ahead and pop the tanky. So, um, yeah. Uh, the reason why I'm not running, um, uh, Fairy Wind and decide to run Twister is because it destroys both players' face out spells and traps, so it would destroy, like, my Vanities, or it would destroy, uh, my Kaiser, or it would destroy my Zombie World, so I decided to go ahead and just run Twister instead. Uh, next I have... Triple Zombie World. Uh, Zombie World... Is an awesome tech, in my opinion. Um, you know, uh, I was expecting it to go up against the Rogue matchup, so I was expecting a little bit of Fire Face, I was expecting a little bit of Bujin, so, uh, you know, Zombie World definitely hurts them. Um, you know, the Noble Knight box set came out in this uh, YCS, you know, right before the day of or the day before, so I was expecting to see some Noble Knights, so how about I just turn them into uh, zombies and now they're not warriors, so you can't equip any Noble Knights except for, I think, Excalibur, but uh, yeah. So, and also for um, Monarchs, because Monarchs is a bad matchup, so uh, how about I just make it so you can't Tribute Summon, because, you know, your Monarchs are in Zombies in the hand, so you can't Tribute Summon, and that also goes for Klee Put as well, so um, Zombie Roll, an awesome, awesome side card, and um, yeah, I'm glad that I decided to roll with it, so, uh, yeah. Alright, next I run Triple Noble Meta Cross Out, so... Uh, you know, going with the the triple uh, uh, chalices and the one grand mole, uh, you know, games two and three, I go ahead and sign in nobleman and increase that uh, that flip monster hate, because really, once I get Ophion, the only problem I gotta worry about is the flip monster, so as long as I can keep the flip monsters in line, we are just totally chill, so, yeah. Alright, and uh, triple light and prison mirror, because, um, you know, once again, I thought maybe some Rogue matchup, maybe some Boudreau, maybe some Constellar, definitely some Telenite. So I decided to go ahead and run the Light Imprisoning Mirror and just lock their effects down. You know, they can't do anything without their effects, and, you know, I might be just as strong as in their beater, so, yeah. Alright, and, uh, last but not least, I am running, you might be a little bit shocked about this button, but Triple Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. You're probably thinking, like, why are you running Shadow Imprisoning Mirror when you run a dark deck? Well... Uh, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror negates the activation of dark effects on the field in the graveyard, but it does not negate continuous effects. So, uh, Ophion is a continuous effect that locks down level 5 or higher. That's a continuous effect, so uh, Shadow Imprisoning wouldn't negate that. So pretty much, if I go summon Ophion and then flip Shadow Imprisoning Mirror on a Shadow player, you know, they're in deep shit because they still can't activate none of their effects, nor can they fuse because Ophion's effect is not negated by Shadow Imprisoning. So, um, you know... My thought was it was hurting the other dark decks, you know, uh, Shadal was in Burning Abyss more than it was hurting me, so I decided to go ahead and go with it, and it was, a, uh, uh, I, I really didn't get to use it, so, yeah. Alright, so before I go into, uh, the tournament report, let me go ahead and just, uh, um, talk about my rotations and stuff, so, uh, hypothetically speaking, let's say I was going against Shadal, so I would put in the Shadow Imprisonings and the Noblemen's. And I would take out, I would take out the MSTs because there is not much they can side in against me for hate. So I wasn't really too afraid. And anything that um, I needed help with, Kaiser has got me, uh, I mean, uh, if a session has got me covered. So I kept that and I also took out uh, the Kaisers because... Once again, um, once I summon an Ophion, they generally don't spam the field anymore, and they're just setting one monster, so there's really no point in me playing Kaiser and saying, like, hey, you can only have one monster when all they're planning on doing is setting one monster anyway. So, um, that's the rotation for uh, Shadals that I went with. Um, uh, for uh, Teller Knights, uh, 
I just went simply just Soul Drain, Defissure, Macro, Macro sort of hurt them, but uh, you know, it's okay. I'd rather have something that can help me, you know, all around and not just, you know, early game. So, uh, and of course I just put in the light imprisonings. Um, of course I would still have, uh, the triple vanities and, uh, the triple kaisers. So, you know, with triple vanities, triple kaiser, and triple light imprisoning, I was hopefully hoping that I could just lock them down and not have them play Yu-Gi-Oh, which is, uh, totally fun for me. Not so much for my opponent, so, yeah. Alright, so, uh, uh, Burning Abyss, uh, Burning Abyss was, uh, pretty similar, uh, pretty much I went, uh, Triple Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, and I took out, um, uh, the Rotos. Uh, you know, it's not as important to go into Ophion, uh, so, uh, decided that I can just go ahead and drop these, you know, still keep my consistency, but, uh, Drop these. It's not important to go to Ophion, but Shadow Imprisoning definitely is. Uh, you know, I still got the triple Vanities, the triple Kaisers, and the Remove and Play Hate, along with the Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, so hopefully I was hoping that I could just go ahead and uh, lock it down. And uh, for Klee Put, uh, let, me, let me go ahead and get Klee Put. Uh, I did keep in Rota. For Klee Put, I took out the Remove and Play things. They really weren't not helpful against Klee Put. And I took out, of course, Forbidden Chalice, because, you know, what the hell was that going to do against Klee Put? Absolutely nothing is the answer. And I put in uh, Triple Zombie World and uh, Triple Twister. So, uh, yeah. So that's how uh, this deck was uh, sided out. So, as you, you can clearly see, I rotate in threes. Uh, it makes it much easier to uh, side out and plan if I rotate in threes. So, uh, that's what I decided to go with for the uh, for the tournament. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a uh, tournament report now. So if you only came here for the deck profile, then uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, tell me what you guys think of my uh, Evil Swarm deck. Uh, it, like I said, it was a fun deck, and I wish my luck was better. I, I'm really sad. It really disappoints me that I decided to uh, not do this deck justice because my luck is so terrible that it's just just bad. So. Uh, yeah, but anyway, it's gonna, I'm going to go ahead and do the tournament report, so, uh, yes, I went to YCS Anaheim, and, uh, it was nine rounds up, day one, it was nine rounds up Swiss, no break, so, uh, you know, started off, you know, I went with, uh, Evil Swarms, I was hoping that people were going to be using Shadals, I was hoping that people were going to be using some of that Cleat Plate, and I was hoping I was just going to be just straight up, just anti-meta in your face, you lose, GG, so, uh, of course, with me using Evil Swarms, uh, you know exactly what I go against round one. What I go against round one, I go against Satellar Knights. Like, god damn it. Like, wow. All right, Satellar Knights. So, uh, game one, I open up so ass. Like, so ass. Like, he literally just tr crushes me. I open up so ass. Like, you know, I, I, like... I banished his Deneb with um, Rhapsody, but he had another one, and that was just pointless, and waste on Xe, and, you know, I drew Kaiser the turn after that I, you know, exceed, so I couldn't even lock it down him down to one uh, monster, and it, it was just terrible. Game 1 was just terrible. Um, game 2. Game 2, I, uh, I locked it down with uh, Vanities. Uh, pretty much, uh, he tried to you know, special summon. I flipped up that vanities. He didn't have the MST. He couldn't get rid of it. And uh, my beaters are stronger than his beaters, so I pretty much just ran him over. So, uh, yeah. Uh, game three, uh, he opened up like butt. He opened up like straight ass. He, uh, the only monsters he had the entire duel was one Altair and Honest. So, literally, uh, you know, I, I, tried to attack over the Altair, he honest me, I, you know, I kept trying, my beaters are stronger than Altair, I kept trying to run him over, uh, eventually he, uh, you know, I ran it over, then he soul charged, he brought back the Altair and the Honest, the Honest put it back into his hand, which is cute, but I had Granmo and I bounced him, and then I poked in one for game, so, uh, despite, you know, matchup not being the best, and going against Teller Knights, I still ended up pulling it out, I was kind of happy, I was like, wow, if I was, I'm glad I beat Teller Knights, you know. So, uh, round one, I won, so I am now, you know, X and O. So, uh, round two, 
Uh, once again, I'm using Eagle Swarm, so hoping to duel against some Shadals, hoping to duel against some Klee Put, so cross my fingers hoping I get an easy win off of that. Round two, I duel against um, Burning Abyss, so yeah, not what I wanted. So, um, if you guys know the YouTube channel P-Bunny, P-Bunny, um, you know that he actually has um, a friend that joins him on his videos. Uh, what's his name? I think it's like David or something. I can't remember his name off the top of my mind, but yeah, just go to P Bunny's channel. He's he, you'll see him. You'll see him. But it's P Bunny's friend, uh, and I duel against him. So you know, I recognized him. He recognized me, and it was good to you know duel against someone like that. So um, round one, uh, I what I do. Round one, I locked it down with Vanities. Like, Vanities, my beaters are stronger than his beaters. Even if he floated, there really wasn't much. He, can, he can't even special summon, so it didn't even matter. And, uh, yeah, I just, I'll beat him in one. Uh, round two, uh, he went first. And uh, first turn, he got set up with the with uh, Fire Lake play. So he literally, uh, Fire Lake looped me to death. Like, he literally Fire Lake looped me three times, I think. And I ran out of resources, and he got it. Uh, round three, I went first. Uh, I didn't open up that well. I didn't even open up well enough to even go into an Xe or an Ophion. So I just, I think I opened up with one Heliotrope. So I uh, summoned the Heliotrope. Uh, I opened up with Vanities again. So I set the Vanities and set some other background just passed. So he drew. He f foolished. He dropped. I think s either Graph or Sir. Whatever one some touched something in the deck. I get those two mixed up. And when he tried to activate the effect, I flipped the Vanities, but he had the MST. So he MST'd and he went off. He got totally set up. He once again got set up into the Fire Lake play. And then during the end phase, he set two back row. I had an MST. So I, it was a 50-50 chance. I threw the MST at one of his back row. I hit the wrong card. Uh, I think it was a uh, Fairy Wind. So I hit the, the MST, hit Fairy Wind. And then, you know, next turn when I tried to do a play, uh, he had Fire Lake and he Fire Lake looped me again. So uh, I lost one two and yeah that was my first loss so that sucks you know i definitely uh uh wanted to win i was, I was like i was hoping i could just lock it down with the vanities again i didn't see shadow imprisoning i didn't see kaiser i didn't see you know none of my move and play shit so you know despite all of that hate i just never got to it so besides the vanities so yeah Alright, so round three. Keep in mind, I'm still using Evil Swarm, so I would like to get those matchups that Evil Swarms are good against. Round three, guess what I go against? A second Teller Knight player. Like, what the fuck? Like, I did not think that there was going to be so many Teller Knight players here at this tournament. Like, there's so many Teller Knight players. I was like, what the hell? I thought, you know, that deck was going to kind of fall off after Kleeput came out, but God, there's just so many fucking Teller Knight players. So, this is where, you know, my luck is terrible, but then I, you know, I don't know. I know my luck is terrible. I know I'm like literally like one of the most unlucky people in the world, so I shouldn't even even risk going to this tournament because of my luck. But uh, this person I duelled against was like Lucky McGee. So uh, yeah, so I'm going against another Teller Knight player. Um, I'm one. I'm one one at this point. So we open up. I I open up. I open up with Macro and Soul Drain. Now, of course, Macro kind of hurts them, because, of course, they never be banished. But Soul Drain, like, wow, all right. So, I open up with two limited cards. Uh, I can't remember if I made the Ophion in my first turn. I don't think so, but um, I did have, you know, uh, Macro, so that was good. So, um, he goes, he summons the Nab, searches uh, for Altair, you know, uh, sets in back row, of course. I think both duels, he set, like, maybe, like, four to five back row each duel. It's just tons of tons of back row. No, I didn't make the Elfin. I remember I didn't make the Elfin. So, um, I draw. Uh, I attack the Deneb. I, I declare an attack on Deneb. And I uh, and attack decoration. I flip up uh, the Defisher. I mean, not the Defisher, the macro. And, uh, of course, he Nova's blocks that, shows my macro, and draws a card. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So, I hit him directly because the felt was changed. Um, so... He starts building up, so of course his Deneb is now in the graveyard, so he draws, he summons Altair, Altair summons Deneb, search, Xe into whatever, I can't remember, I think he went into Castella Omega, I think? So I draw, uh, he, he forgot that Altair couldn't attack, 
So he was like, I'll make an attack your monster. And I was like, you can't. I'll say, I remember it. And he's like, oh, yeah. So my monster said that I failed. So I summoned another uh, Evil Swan XC into Exiton to try to wipe Silk because he was up on resources. And uh, he had Solemn Morning. So he Solemn Morning me and I uh, necked. So that sucked. Because, you know, if it was anything but Solemn Morning or, you know, something to get him. But I didn't have it. So pass to him. He peeps me. Uh, next, I, I think I go Crokeon, I banish, I get back, I summon, I make it Ophion, you know, because I had Kaiser in my hand, and he had Compulse, so, I open up with, uh, Soul Drain and Macro, he opens up with Warning and Compulse, so, uh, he Compulses my Ophion, I did not have an Infestation Pandemic at the time, and, uh, that's pretty much it, I'm out of resources, and he pokes me to death, so that's round one, uh, game one, game two, uh, of course I side in, um, I try to open again. Once again, I'm on the Vanities, the Kaiser, the Light Imprisoning, hoping I'm to get some of it to uh, kind of lock down the door. So, um, uh, I don't open up well enough to make an Ophion once again. For some odd reason, my deck was just not cooperating with me. You know, I have, you know, what, 19 freaking cards, 20 different cards that can help me make Ophion, you know? So, like the, the 16 Monsters, the Rabbit, and the Triple Rota. So, you know, half of my deck is devoted to just helping me make Ophion, and I just couldn't make it. Not that I was going to help against Teller Knights, but I just couldn't make it, so... Um, I opened up not that hot. You know, I just kind of just saw a monster, so I back backer path. This guy, and this, is, and this is extreme luck, he draws and he just goes, Rota, 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 and he just search, search, search. Yeah, he opened up Triple Rota, and I was just like, wow, wow. So, yep, Triple Rota, all up in my face, all up in my grill. I'm like, great, he's about to get me. So, he summons the nab, searches, so I'll tie air, you know, it just takes a little slow, sets him backer, passes. Um, I draw, and I draw into Light Imprisoning, I'm just like, yes, Light Imprisoning, so I'm just like, attack over the Neb, he's like, that's fine, I'll set the Light Imprisoning, I pass, I was like, um, uh, during your draw phase, go ahead and flip up that, uh, Light Imprisoning Mirror, um, well, I, I was afraid of something, but I can't remember, I was afraid of something, so, oh, I was afraid of him normal summoning his Altair, and then, Mm -hmm. And then when I flip up Light and Prisoning Mirror, when it's bounced to the fact he would know for me. So I wanted to flip it up during the draw phase where he had no uh, Telenite monster on the field to play Nova. So during his draw phase, I flipped up Light and Prisoning. And I was locking it down. I was just, He couldn't do shit. You know, like, Light and Prisoning could not do the effect. And, I was, and he was just drawing and setting. And I was just like, poke, 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 poke. I think I got his life points down to 100. 100. 100. One fucking 100. This guy goes, draw. Flips up. Trap stun stuns my uh, my uh, light imprisoning goes into an exiton because I was up at resources wipes the entire field um, and passes to me so pretty much I'm down on resources so I draw I draw into a healer trap I summon healer trap attack he takes 50 he's at 50 fucking light points left so um, he draws he summons uh, uh, what does he do I can't remember what he did but I know. I know that in the end, he left an Altair on the field. It was an Altair and a Deneb. And he just left it. He didn't exceed. He just left it. So I dr I'm drawing, and I'm just like, please, it's 50 light points left. Let me, please, let me get, like, a fucking Karakion. Let me get, like, a fucking, like, a fucking, um, another Heliotrope. Let me get a Caster. Just 50. All I need to do is 50. I'm drawing in a Grand Mole. I'm drawing in the Infestation Pandemic. I'm not drawing in the shit. I'm at 8,000. He's at 50. I didn't draw the shit. He brought me all the way down to zero at 50. And, and, and I lost. So, yeah. My luck is just the, the butts. The butts. So, yeah. That's how that went. So, at this point, I'm 1 and 2. So, um, at this point, my next round, round 4, I'm at the scrubs table. Like, I'm, I'm like, at the bottom. Like, I'm, like, I'm, like, looking to the left of me. I'm seeing fucking, like... Skull servants look to the right of me. I'm seeing like fucking just not the not the not the meta shit. So uh, I'm going against my fourth opponent. My fourth opponent is keep in mind once again using Evil Swarm. Can I please get a matchup that Evil Swarms are good against? Uh, my opponent was using Battling Boxers. Like fuck, come on, like please, can I get a good matchup with Evil Swarms? So uh, round one, um, I don't open up that well. Once again, I don't know why, but my deck just didn't want to work with me. I power shuffled and everything, and it just, just terrible. Just terrible, 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 terrible. So, eventually, I actually do make an Ophion, and I do get the Kaiser, but this fool, uh, he actually foolishes, uh, counter punch, counter nut punch, summons a glass jaw, and counter nut punches over my Ophion with glass jaw. I'm like, what the fuck? 
So he gets that. Um, and at that point, I was just out resources. I kept drawing into MSTs and infestation pandemics, and he just beat me to death. So I ended up losing round one. Um, round two, um, a little bit better. Um, I sat on Kaiser for the majority of the duel and out beat him. Um, instead of going into um, uh, Ophion, because one of the first things he did was just summon... Um, uh, what's the 1,000 guy who uh, sends the monster? One of the first things that he did was um, send Counterpunch again. So instead of you know falling for that again and going into Ophion, getting Counterpunched by Glassjaw, I decided to go ahead and go into 101, who, of course, I didn't take anything, but he was a nice protector, you know, like you go into my stroke. So that's what I did. I just kind of played Kaiser, sat on that, just attacking over his monsters and shit. Um, and I uh, ended up uh, winning that one. Uh, yeah, I ended up winning that one. Um, I think he got... It, there was a play, and it was like... He had, he flipped up Shadow and Prison Mirror early in the duel, which hurts me, but doesn't hurt me too bad. I had 7 board, so that kind of hurt. So, um, I had 101 on the field, and he had his monster that can't be destroyed by battle once per uh, battle phase. So, you know, 101 didn't matter if I attacked him. I was sitting on Kaiser. So, I summoned Thunderbird, and he goes Chain Torrental. And I go, chain Thunderbird activate its effect, of course it being negated by the Shadow Imprisoning, but then I chain MST on the Shadow Imprisoning, in which he uh, responds with chaining Book of Moon on my 101. So, of course, 101 is flipped upside down, can't protect itself in Torrental. Um, I MST um, the Shadow Imprisoning, um, then Thunderbird hops out of the way, the Torrental goes off, kills his monster, kills my 101, and uh, yeah. So he would be free from the Kaiser if Thunderbird didn't come back and be like, hey, I'm back, 1950, um, Kaiser, can't summon anything stronger than that, so, uh, except for Glass Shaw, he didn't have it, and, uh, yeah, I ended up winning that, uh, no, I didn't, that's not how it ended. So he was at, um, he was at, he was at 21 life point slap, so I summon another monster, I make a, um, a Heartland, the Heartland Dra Draco. And I detach, poke him directly, he has 100 light points left, and, um, and, uh, Kaiser's still on the field, so I can't even attack the Heartland, and I have direct attack, so he had one last turn, so he pawned duality, he revealed a Dust Tornado, and, uh, that was pretty much it, because, you know, Dust Tornado would be a turn too slow, even if he set the Dust Tornado, and I drew, you know, he could go ahead and go Dust Tornado, and I would just go, okay, detach, attack you directly for game, so it didn't matter. So, uh, we are going into game three, and at this point, we were actually going and in, heading into time. So, game three, um, you know, I get set up with, uh, with, the, with the Ophion and all of that, you know, I search for, uh, my pandemic, my, uh, my infection, my infection. So, uh, actually, you know, he takes it slow, he wasn't doing, he wasn't pushing or overextending or anything like that. So, I, like, I draw it into a caster, I'm like, alright, some caster, I'm like, Ophion, attack your monster, caster, attack you directly, and, you know, I pass. So, Literally, he draws a card, and I'm like, during your draw phase, I'm going to play Infestation and Infection. I'm going to target my caster and shove him back. So he calls, so my opponent calls over the judge, and he's like, during the draw phase, I do this, can I play it? And the judge is like, yes. So, you won't fucking believe this, but as soon as the turn that I activate Infection, this fool top decks an MST. So, I neck. I neck. I shuffle my caster back. I don't get my search. He top decks right into that. But it's fine. It's fine. So... He ends up, I can't remember how he ends up taking out my Ophion, but I know he does. But uh, I flip up, um, they'll start slowing down to a crawl, but I flip up Vanities, and then I just start out beating him. We go into time, and, and you know, you pass your five turns back and forth, and I just start beating him to death, you know. His life points just start slowly dropping and dropping and dropping, and then I believe the last turn for um, time, it was my turn. I drew, I had more life points than him, and I was just like, I had my turn, and I won. So, uh... Yeah, I won. So I'm now two two. Um, if you get three, you if you if you're like X and three, you might make it to the second day. It depends on your matchups and stuff. So I was hanging on by a thread, really hoping that maybe I could kind of pull out, uh, maybe just continuing on. So uh, round five. Uh, keep in mind, I'm using Evil Swarm. Round five. Guess what? I duel against. I duel against Cleepot. Yes, finally I duel against fucking Cleepot. I'm like, finally I can fucking do something and do this. So. You know, we go clean put. I'm, I even warned the guy. I'm like, uh, he's like, I'm like, I'm like the world's most unlucky person. So you might, you might win this. So he's like, oh, really? Well, we'll find out. So um, I open, I open up with no fucking monsters. Like, wow. Like 20, half of my deck committed to, you know, dishing out that Ophion. So many monsters. No monsters. 
going against Cliff Albert up with triple MST, which is great, because of course I can hit that tool, that scout, but, you know, so, you know, going against Klee Put, the deck where I finally want to make first turn Ophion and just lock it down, and I open up with no fucking monsters. Like, thank you, fucking deck. I power shuffle and everything, and I still, no. So, he goes, he, he keeps on trying to do scout, and I keep on MSTing it, and, you know, but he, he, he's normal summoning Klee Puts, going in with Sackley Put, poking me to death, I'm not drawing shit, and I end up not drawing shit at all. I drew in a Chalices, which are just great against Klee Put, yeah, you know. So, that was just bad. And I'm hoping I can do better in game two. So, um, game two, I still don't open up well enough to make an Ophion, but, um, I still open up decently. So, I open up with Heliotrope, I sent some back row. I didn't get the Zombie World, so yeah. And, uh, pretty much he decides to go off, so, uh, he opens up the tits. Like, he, he, he upstarts me twice, so I'm at 10,000. But then he, he ends up, I think I had one. Tw I think I had a twister face down, and he uh, he MST'd my twister, and uh, he pretty much just pendulum summoned and uh, tributed, and he pretty much uh, OTK'd me. He brought me from ten thousand to zero in one fucking turn, one goddamn turn. Like wow, all right. So uh, that was my third loss, and I was pretty much done. I was, I was just done. So I was not in the mood to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm I'm actually going to be uh, taking this deck apart. I'm going to be uh, selling the vanities and just, you know, making fun decks from now on. So, you know, I'm going to take the rotas, put them in my Teller Knights, or, you know, stuff like that. I'm just going to make fun decks. You know, I tried to come with the douchebaggery and tried to be a douche, and I ended up getting fucked. So, yep, that's the thing. So, um, yeah, that was my turn report. I ended up dropping after that because there's no way I was going to top anyway. So, I didn't even want to freaking try. So, I was just like, I'm done. I'm done. So, uh, yeah, that was my turn report. That was the deck profile. So, yeah. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, like I said, uh, go ahead if you want to give me feedback on my Evil Swarm deck. Like I said, I'm taking it apart anyway. I'm not going to run this deck anymore. I'm done. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, deck profile and tournament report. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, next time in another live video. All right. Thanks for watching.